Hey everyone, it's Ollie. Welcome back to my channel. So recently, <laughs> Barry M Cosmetics sent me a PR package and I've literally not opened it. I've left it until this video to open. Currently right now it is September 16th. Oh my God, there's a fly in my room for fuck's sake. So currently it is September 16th and I can't post this video until the 24th of September because basically they've sent me their new line of like Halloween products as well as some of their old favorites as well. So this video has been top secret and I've not been able to tell anybody about this. Also, sorry boys in a face mask, his skin needs it, okay? So let's open this bad boy. Yeah. I'll just pull out whatever I can feel first. <gasps> Ooh, these are face jewels. Oh my God, they all have different names. So this one is called Freak Show. I'm trying to like get it so my camera won't reflect the light off it so you guys can see it. What's this one? Midnight Mermaid. <gasps> Bitch, the star gems. Oh, and the star like in the middle going down the nose bridge. I'm gonna have to use that. That is stunning. Also, can I just say this? I didn't even realize that like these were a thing. I've seen them online, but I didn't really understand how they worked. I always thought that these were separate and it wasn't like a peel off thing because these are all on a bit of plastic. So you can literally just glue it to your face because I've been doing it like the drag queen way because I am a drag queen. The way that I've been doing it to like recreate these kind of looks is to literally place each gem on individually. I didn't realize that it actually came on a piece of plastic. That could have saved me some time. <laughs> okay, this one is called Sugar Skull. This one is so beautiful. Like, it's very much my colour palette of, like, the blues, the pinks. Oh, these under eye ones in drag. That would that would be such a look. I'm going to have to use these. Of course I'm going to use these. Duh. Oh, this one's very, like, subtle, but the under eye placement of this one. Can you guys see that? Oh, this one's called Feline Fantasy. The under eye on this one is everything. That is everything. I mean, I love the forehead bit as well, but, like, that's more subtle. Like, this one's more about the eyes. They're going to come in, like, so much use for me doing drag because I'm always there like applying fucking gems to the bottom of my eyes and it literally takes me like 20 minutes when it should be like a two minute job. <laughs> okay, next. What is this? Flawless Chisel Cheeks Contour Cream Kit. Oh, come through. Even Anastasia Beverly Hills doesn't have a mirror in it. Yes. Ooh. These contour shades look a little bit dark. This one looks usable on my skin tone, but we'll see like actually how, you know, like dark they look against my face when I do put these products to the test. So they have like a cool tone white shade, a kind of banana-ish yellow shade. And then this bottom row is all like, especially my contour shades. And on the bottom row, we've kind of got like a medium contour shade, a darker one, and a deep one. Honestly, props to Barry M because that is a good shade range. And I can't wait to see like what the formula is like on those because I've tried so many in the past. I've tried Anastasia Beverly Hills. May runs. So I can't wait to see how these perform. Bitch, I'm gagging. There's a hair on it. <laughs> Treasure chest, baked matte and metallic eyeshadow palette. I feel like you guys won't be able to see like the full colours, like what I'm seeing in person. Like these ones here are so beautiful. Of course the mattes are, but like mattes are like basically a staple in every single eyeshadow palette. This black one here is reflecting like little specks of like blue, yellow, and I think green. It's very like an oil slick mermaid shade. I really love this shade at the top as well. It's like a rose kind of champagne-y color and it reflects like orange and yellow specks. Let me do like a quick swatch. Oh, she's pigmented. Oh, <gasps> bitch. I'm overwhelmed. Oh? Okay, but like, has Barry M always been this pigmented? Because why has no one told me? This black here is stunning with like the little specks in there. I know you guys won't be able to see it on camera because it is so far away, but no doubt I'll use it in an eyeshadow look, so don't worry. And the shimmer on that one, and this one's like a semi-matte shade. Like it looks a little bit shimmery, but it's not. The pigmentation is there, and I have to swatch this pink one here because if anyone knows me, I love pink. <gasps> Bitch. Honestly, that is such a colour story even there, but that pink is everything. That would be such a good, like, brow bone highlight or something. Why has no one told me 
that Barry M snapped when it came to eyeshadow palettes. Like, that is some good ass shit. Okay, so this is the Map Me Up Lip Kit Metallic Liquid Lip Paint and Lip Liner. Oh, so it's like a Kylie lip kit. I've always loved the idea of like the kit thing where it's got the lip liner as well as the lip product because it just comes like so helpful and like so in hand when you are doing like a lipstick look with that lipstick shade. That sentence was a mouthful. Does it have the shade name on here? MLKD. Strange name, but okay. Ooh, <laughs> ASMR. Okay, no shade, but like, it's a gorgeous color, don't get me wrong. But like, I was expecting a little bit more like metallic in there. Right now it's looking like very liquid to matte lipstick-esque. <laughs> but like, maybe it's one of those liquid lipsticks where like sometimes you have to rub your lips and then like the metallic will like pop more. So I really can't wait to like put this to the test to see like how it performs and like how metallic I can truly get it. But I do love this like plum shade. I have like a very similar shade to this. I think it's Kylie Cosmetics in Court K. And also it comes with the lip liner. Next! Oh my god, there's so many little things things in here. Jesus Christ. Okay, so this is the glitter fixer gel. Okay. I'm guessing this is just like a glitter glue because fixer gel is just like the fancy name for it. I mean, I can't really <laughs> review this or talk about this product because it's literally just gel. But like I say, we'll see how this performs in tutorials. Okay, so next we have the On Point Black Waterproof Precision Liner by Barry M. I want to see how this actually performs because I'm not a huge fan of felt tip liners just because they like dry out pretty quickly and sometimes they can be very like messy. I'm just gonna give it a good shake first. Ooh, she is thin. Okay, let's see like how this performs. This is so awkward because I'm doing it. Okay, she was thin. To say that was an accident, that was thin. Skinny. Okay, so I just went from like really thin to thick. I like that though. Like I really love like a really thin felt tip liner because you can do like loads of detail work with it, especially like cool eyeshadow looks and stuff like that. That always comes in handy for me and I, I generally actually like that. I normally hate felt tip liners because they can sometimes be a little bit clumpy. Sometimes the tip can go a little bit not cute. But this one is actually like really good. So wig off for Barry M. <laughs> okay, so next we have a bold waterproof eyeliner in white. So this is just like an eyeliner white pencil. Always love these. These always come in handy for me because when I do drag, I just love putting white in like the waterline. It just really gives that pop in the eye. So that will definitely come in handy for me. Okay, so next he sent me an all night long full coverage foundation. Which shade is this? Oh, I <laughs> found it. Cashew. And a chew. Did someone sneeze? <laughs> Peel porn. I don't know what I was expecting when I opened the lid, but it wasn't this. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know what I thought it was gonna be like. Okay, let me just see. You gotta jerk it off first a little bit. Okay. Okay, so the foundation is a little bit pale. <laughs> not your color. It's not your color, because you're a basic bitch. <laughs> But it's okay because like if I do end up using it on my face, I can obviously warm it up, put a lot of bronzer on there. But obviously Barry M aren't like gonna know my shade like off by heart. And they're not even gonna know like what skin tone I am. They've gotta like judge it off pictures. All night long foundation will have you covered until the early hours, that's what I need, with its smooth creamy formula which is easy to blend and feels lightweight on the skin. With moisturizing vitamin E and anti-oxidizing fruit extracts for a healthy look that's yours. Okay, it doesn't really say what finish it is, other than obviously full coverage, which <laughs> I'm always down. Also, can we just talk about the fact that like, I put off making a makeup collection video for like so long because like I say, whenever I like go to film a makeup collection video, I get sent a bunch of stuff, I buy a bunch of stuff. So like now, I've got to put this all in my makeup trays after filming my makeup collection for you guys. This is why I put it off for so long. But you can go and watch it now in the card somewhere on the screen. <laughs> Self promo. I am arms deep in this bitch. Okay, so next is the Lash Vegas Black Mascara. This is heavy, like this is thick. Again, I can't really talk about a mascara until I've actually used it. However, we will look at the brush head just to see what kind of tip it is to the brush because that's always a make or break for me. I don't know about you guys. Okay, so let's see the tip. Yes! Yes! Oh my god, yes! I'm so glad that this isn't like a huge fat tip. I just hate like mascaras that are too big because I like to use mascara on the top and bottom lashes. A lot of the times a huge thick tip like 
I need to stop saying tip. I feel like a huge like head, that, that doesn't sound any better. I feel like a huge brush is just like not workable on the bottom like lashes because you just get it all on the bottom. Same with on my top lashes as well because my top lashes aren't that like long. Also the little sparkle illustrations on there. Oh my god, they sent me the all night long full coverage concealer. I literally just bought this the other day <laughs> Returns it. No, I'm kidding. I mean, <laughs> although to be fair, I'm glad that I did buy it because they've sent me the shade Number two oatmeal and I bought number one in milk because I really do like my under eyes to be like fully brightened And I'm not trying to say that number two wouldn't do that But I feel like number two is gonna be better for me in terms of hiding my acne scars and stuff like that However, I feel like milk will definitely be like the highlight concealer I really can't wait to try these out because I watched like I said this in my other video But I watched a video of Jeffree Star and Mitchell and he used the Barry M concealer on Jeffree Star's eyes So it's definitely gonna be good. Let's be honest. Okay, so they they also sent me this lipstick in the shade, I think, 37. <sighs> Ollie Green struggling for 10 minutes to open makeup packages. Ooh, that was satisfying. I don't know what shade this is in either because it doesn't have like the shade color underneath. Why can't I open these? <laughs> they sent me a black fucking lipstick. I am gagging. Oh, I've always wanted a black cream lipstick. I think MAC is the only other brand that I've seen do like a black cream lipstick. And theirs was only sold on Black Friday. But this bitch, maybe it does have the shade color on the bottom because it is black. That is stunning. I'm not gonna swatch it because it looks so beautiful. Like I wanna take a picture of it. It has like the Barry M logo like here as well. It says BM. I would just say the color on the back. It says black for fuck's sake. Am I stupid? Because I have like tons of black liquid to matte lipsticks but I don't have the creamy formula but that is Stunning! Oh, that's honestly made my day. Like, that is one thing that I've wanted in my makeup collection for so long is a black cream lipstick. I'm gagged. Okay, we have like a few items left. I'm gonna get these four all together because they're kind of all the same thing. So these are glitters. Yes! So we have this like red glitter that's also got bits of gold and baby blue in there. And this one's in the shade Hella. It's a part of the Pick and Glitz glitter pot range. Just thought I'd put that out there. And this one's in the shade Boo! <laughs> Boo is like teal blue specks of glitter with silver as well. Okay, so this next one is in the shade Savage. Oh, bitch. Can you imagine wearing this glitter and then someone's like, what glitter are you wearing? And then you're like, Savage. <laughs> Again, this is like a teal green kind of color. Very like, it reminds me of Rihanna. I don't know why, because you know how Rihanna's like, Always saying savage, she loves the colour green, like, I'm getting those vibes. Okay, so they also sent me this other glitter, but I don't think it's part of that range. And this is the Glitter Brush Body Glitter, and this one's in the shade Wild Child. Do they know me? Wild Child is one of my favourite movies. I love, like, having bits of makeup that's named after, like, your favourite things, because you can be like, I'm wearing Wild Child Glitter. Yes, bitch. But this is just, like, a gorgeous red glitter, but, like, that's perfect for Halloween. I love putting red glitter in blood. Oh, fake blood, SFX blood, don't worry. <laughs> okay, so our last two things we have are the Bold Waterproof Eyeliner in black. So I think this is just an eyeliner pencil. I'm not gonna open that up just because obviously we all know how a pencil works, hopefully. Oh my God, this is what I'm so excited about. This is the Barry M Glitter Bomb Glitter Eyeshadow. Now, I have been wanting to try these Steeler like glitter eyeshadow sticks for the longest time. Just never got around to it, never got around to purchasing it. I feel like in the UK, it definitely came a lot later than America. So I'm really excited to try this. I will actually do a little swatch now to see how it performs. Wait for it, wait for it. Oh, that wasn't satisfying, okay. Also, this one's in the shade number four called Girl Bye. Me. What glitter eyeshadow are you wearing, Girl Bye? <laughs> Should we do a swatch? Okay, so that is like, so shimmery. I really don't know how to work glitter eyeshadows. Like, I don't know if you need to set it with a powder or like it dries down matte. Like, I'm really interested to see like how these work on the eyes because I like honestly don't know how to like use one of these without it getting everywhere. But we'll definitely see how it works. But honestly, like straight off the bat, there's a fly flying around. I'm sorry if it's just like been in the footage. I think. 
is everything. Oh wait, I didn't talk about this one. <laughs> I just saw it on the desk and I was like, bitch, where did that come from? Okay, so this is just another glitter rush body glitter by Barry M in the shade Fancy Dress. And it's just like a white holographic glitter. We'll probably use it in drag on my cheekbones, just keeping it real. But no, I swear now that is everything. So yeah, thank you to Barry M and thank you guys for watching this video. And obviously a huge thank you to Barry M for sending me this PR package. It has been super hard for me to like keep quiet about this because I actually love Barry M. I've tried a few of their products in the past and they've always impressed me. I always use the like liquid glow highlighters as well in like every single look. So it was really an honor to receive this little PR package. And they're not like paying me to say this by the way, but obviously I've been sent this for free. But I do highly recommend purchasing this like Halloween collection that is coming out with like a lot of these products. A good quarter of these products were already out, but there is like a huge range of these that are for the Halloween like collection. I believe it is out on the 24th. If it's not, I'm sorry. But that's the date that I've been told to post this video and talk about it. So hopefully it will be in stores on that day as well or like online. But I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did be sure to like and comment down below so I know that you liked it. And if you're not already be sure to subscribe down below and be sure to hit that bell icon so you never miss out on any makeup uploads in the future. And I shall see you guys in the next video. Bye. By the way that glitter bomb eyeshadow, that liquid one, does dry down matte because it ain't moving. Bye. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,